everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood community <sighs> shout outs. Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> but he was feeling better a few days ago and then he's not feeling so good. So I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. Yeah, I am. So, okay, we got some thoughts and prayers. Katie Caroline's been going through some rough times, so she asked if we can keep her and her family in our thoughts and prayers. So, Katie, you are in our thoughts and prayers, and if everybody in the community could do so as well, we would greatly appreciate that. And the Abyss 92882, a friend of theirs, Paula, just lost her job, so if we can also keep her in our thoughts and prayers as well. Buddy. So, everybody, if you could do that, that would be wonderful. Janet Johnson is going through some pretty serious medical issues. Um, someone she knows that has the same illnesses as her just passed away. He was 23 years old. And she's going through a lot of scans and blood work and tests and everything right now. Um, so she is going through a lot, plus the loss of a friend. So if everybody could please keep her in your thoughts and prayers as well. And we would love it if everybody could go by and check out, give a thumbs up, and subscribe to Courtney Goodwin's channel. Um... I'll leave the link in the video. Uh, if she gets enough people to subscribe to their channel, then her husband, who is in the military, they're going to upload a video of her husband and his buddies doing two dances when they were over in Afghanistan, and it's supposed to be pretty funny. So, I personally would love to see it, but we got to get enough subscribers to their channel for them to upload it. And then if they get enough people to be interested in that, they're going to start vlogging, which I, I, love, I love when people start vlogging. I like seeing new vlogs, new people vlogging and seeing what their daily lives are like and everything. So... Please, everybody, I'll leave the link. Go by and check it out. Courtney Goodwin. Okay, and my question yesterday was, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being your height? Okay, Angie Lupus Life is 5'5". Five, five. And disadvantage, too short to reach some stuff. I, you know... And the upside is she's tall enough to go on all the amusement rides at the park. <laughs> yeah. Tanya Longley is 5'3". It may sound tall, but it's not. Um, she's too short to reach stuff on the top shelves at the store. And when she buys pants to fit, most of the time they're too long. So, Melody. 5'3", also. I, she thinks it's a pretty decent height, not too short, not too tall. Disadvantages is she can't reach things in high places, but then again, that's what Ronnie's there for. Dougie Style. I'm six feet tall, he says, which I enjoy because I can reach the top shelf and I get better view of things when I'm in a crowd. Yeah, I, I would say that is definitely A+. Plus. Uh, Terry Johnson, also 5'3". We've got a lot of 5'3s. Also 5'3". She can't reach things on the top shelves of cabinets. Advantage, more legroom in, in the cars. Yep. And uh, Betsy Wetsy threw her, her magical wand out the window. But it might have worked, Betsy, because I'm feeling a lot better today. So, um, <clears throat> dum, 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 dum. Jess Lucero... He, he liked our song, Get Down With The Sick Nick. <laughs> he actually went to a Disturbed concert, and he said that it was pretty good. 
Um, Bambi S doesn't really give us her height, but she says disadvantages of being my height would be not being able to reach high places in the kitchen, sometimes having to use a stool and feel like a midget compared to her 6'1 and 6'2 niece and nephew. They're like Amazon size, but it's all good. Advantages are she can drive in a smaller car with headroom and room to spare and don't ever have to worry about her feet hanging off the bed. I really want to know what your <coughs> height is, though, Bambi. You didn't give us that. <coughs> Crimson Fairy also doesn't give us her actual height. Disadvantages, need to step on a step stool to get high things off of shelves. Advantages, don't have very far to fall. Get into small places, comfy in small cars. You knew about that falling part. Shh, I was going to tell them that part when I get to me. Okay, dear. Shh. Jessica C.T. is five foot ten and a half. Vantages that I can hide things in places where people can't reach and find them. <laughs> Disadvantages of being that tall is being you also have a larger shoe size. Her shoe size is ten or eleven. And certain things that can't be, can't do being really tall. For example, I want to play hide and seek with my cousins or someone. I would have less hiding places. That is very true. But being tall is a good thing. And sometimes I wear heels to school. And my friends who are shorter than me say that people my height that wear heels is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't get nosebleeds way up there? Um, which is actually funny. And my sister has a small car, and she picks me up from school, and someone else is with her, and I have to sit in the back seat. I can't move whatsoever. I also say to her, tall people in small cars don't mix well. That is true. Susie here. I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, and I have a funny story about being tall. I have always worked retail, and one day I was putting clothes on the top rack at Old Navy, and I had to go over another rack to get to the top rack. Well, on my way down, my bra got hooked through my shirt on the middle rack. It was face out, and I was hanging there for a while. My coworker that I was working with was laughing because she was like 4'9", and couldn't help because she was very small. I eventually got down and laughed about the whole thing. So being tall has its advantages and disadvantages. And that's all I got as far as answers for what is your height and your disadvantages and advantages. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, five. And what are your some advantages and disadvantages of being 5'5"? Five, five? I, I don't know very many advantages to it, except that um, I probably move faster than most bigger people. So, or at least I used to when I was young. Well, once I had to take a friend home in his F-150. I'm not going to say that he was too drunk to drive, but he was too drunk to drive. <laughs> you said it twice so, now. <laughs> And so I got into his F-150, it was about uh, 2002, I think, and uh, I could not reach the pedals. And it kind of surprised me. I said, why would they make a truck for only people 5'8 and taller? I could not reach the pedals. I had to actually not, I, my back never touched the back seat. I had to pull the way up. And it was a stick shift, which made it a lot of fun trying to do that with no back support. So, as a result, I don't buy American-made trucks because they don't make them for people my height, 5'5". Five, five. They don't. Don't know why. I buy Japanese trucks because they do make them for people <laughs> my height and taller. So, but, there you go. But riding in the back seat of somebody's car. Oh, I have no problem with, uh, with leg room. That's, yeah. that's, that's the good thing. I remember one time I, uh, I owned a truck that had a bench. And uh, I had to pull the bench all the way up because of my height. And the guy who was uh, got in the car with me was over six feet tall, and his his knees were around <laughs> his ears. So that uh, after that, I never bought a truck with a bench. So those are the disadvantage. Here's another uh, interesting thing because of my height. 
being a guy. Um, girls don't like short guys in general when you're out schmo schmoozing with the women. When I, I when I read, I'm not okay, done. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Now you have your turn. <laughs> When you get when you go into a social situation where they don't really know who you are, because that's a difference, um, the uh, women tend to ignore the shorter guy. They always go for the tall guy. And, the, and I've discovered that the shorter that the woman is, the taller the guy that they'll go for. Now I discovered something, however, is when I was uh, young and and still hitting on women. I would always go for the tall women. It's just surprising how intimidated guys are by tall women. So a lot of times I would have the, my pick of uh, the really tall, attractive women because no one would ask them out because guys are all intimidated by them. So, and I noticed that there was nobody who answered this question who was as short as Val. Speaking of... <laughs> I used to be 4'11 and 3 quarters. Now I am 4'10 and 2 thirds. So I've shrunk. It's okay. <coughs> I know it's going to happen with age. But I still say I'm 4'11 when it comes to people asking me my, my height. So I'm 4'11. Advantages when I was before him and I needed something off of a top shelf in a store, I used to get all these handsome young men to reach up there and get stuff for me. Um, closer to the floor in case, you know, when I do all my falling, I don't have that far to go. Um, disadvantages? Can't reach things, you know. Um, short, sore shoulder? I can't. Even standing on a stool to get up to get stuff out of the top cabinets in our house, I can't do it. I have to have him do it. I'm sure. So, yeah, and he has to step on a stool to get some stuff, too. So, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages of everybody's height, I believe. I don't think there's any perfect height out there. So, but I think we go good together. Cha. Cha. All right. My question for today is, what was your best New Year's resolution that you have ever made, <laughs> and did you keep it? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay. Uh, okay, so yesterday's question was about the movie The Others 2001. And the kids were suffering from a disease called seroderma or xeroderma pigmentosum, which is a disease uh, uh, of the skin where uh, it, the uh, cells would break down under ultraviolet light, so they cannot go outside for very long. And if and if they do get sunburned, then it takes weeks for them to uh, heal, and it could be if deadly if they actually stuck outside. So that was the answer to that, and it was answered by Bambi S, Tanya Longley, Terry Johnson, and Greg Myers. Yahoo! Now tonight's uh, question is about one of my favorite uh, campy movies, Snakes on a Plane. <laughs> now I'm not going to say a line, and everybody knows the line I'm talking about that Samuel L. Jackson says, and so I'll get in trouble. So, but here's the question. I actually had two questions, but I'm only going to ask one because there's two good ones. What was the body count on that movie? Oh, good answer. That's not an answer. I question. mean, good question. Very good. <laughs> question. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. You are all part of the neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for all of you. Thumbs up. We love you all very much. <laughs> this is how we get sick, each other sick all the time I hear. <laughs> Go by and check out all our other stuff, and we will see you all tomorrow.